of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily show. I have an idea today to do some really cute decor. Tis the season, it's spring of course. And uh, let's just say I've had Easter eggs on my brain. Today on Matt's show, I'm gonna show you how I do a Robin's egg color and how I do a speckled effect to make them look like Robin's eggs. The idea came to mind when I found these uh, cute little terracotta pots loved them and I thought how cute would it be to put a little like Robin's egg or that sort of effect inside of it maybe a little bit of burlap I don't know we'll see where we go but anyway I thought today we could work together on the eggs right now you probably have an excess of those plastic Easter eggs um, you could always use those for your imitation Robin eggs or you could also like me go to Hobby Lobby and I found these whoo almost broke the eggs do I get like years of bad luck if I do that? I found these paper eggs right here. They're ready just for some paint and to be made pretty. We of course have a Junk Monkey paint color um, that's called Misty Aqua, which is a really light blue green color. So this will be pretty for to get like a Robin's egg effect if you wanna do that. But today I'm going to make my color a little bit bolder. So I'm going to kind of like make up my own custom Robin's egg color. Misty Aqua, just a smidge of that blue, not to turn it too much. And we also want a little bit of the Bahama Jade to bring it to that green tint look. Mix that together. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful color. And remember, if I wanna keep adding some more green tint to it, I can throw in some more of the Bahama Jade. Oh boy, I just love, 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 love. Here we go, we got that beautiful greenish robin egg color using those three colors. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and paint some eggs. I'm gonna pull out some paper towels so they don't run away too much from me. And now let's go ahead and put that color, oh yeah, look at that pretty color. Let's put that color on these eggs. One thing I've learned about robin's eggs is that they come in a variety of colors even though there's a pretty standard um, color when you think of a robin's egg. But I guess it all has to do with like the health of the mama bird and the pigment that she deposits deposits on her um, shell, all that sort of stuff. So at the end of the day, you get to pick your custom baby bird shell color. Oh my gosh, beautiful bluish green. All right, I'm gonna lay that right here. You can believe I'm gonna use up any paint that I have on my tray there. Ooh, love it. Now we're gonna go ahead and let these dry to get ready for our speckles, speckles. Okay, our eggs are drying. So what we're gonna do now is get two colors ready to go. First up being our candy bar brown. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and spritz on a bunch of water onto our brown paint. Let's get something to stir that with. At the end of the day, we're going to make our paint be really, really fluid. In fact, you want it to be so fluid that you can fling it from a toothbrush. We're gonna go ahead and put the toothbrush right into the paint. Now we're gonna start this process off to the side so you can get control of your flex. All right, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead, just not touch these eggs, just get my flex on this side, we can let them dry, and then we can flip them uh, to another side to get the rest. This is fun. This is the part where if you have little hands that can help you, they will really enjoy this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let that dry. We'll do the other side and then we're gonna bring in one more color. Okay, so the next color I'm going to pull from is some antique lace. I just put a little bit on this extra cover I have. Same process, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my water spritzing bottle. So same thing, we don't want too much on. I'm just gonna flick it off to the side to kind of get it rolling the way I like it. And now same process except we use the antique lace to lighten it and give a few very light speckles. Okay, so we've got to let those dry, let all of our speckles dry. We do all the way around 
And then of course, if you want, it's up to you if you want to seal it with, for example, our banana peel poly, or if you want to use monkey shine, perhaps you're using wooden eggs, you could do that as well. What's fun is to take them and put them into little pots, maybe with a little burlap below them. I've seen people put a little spin on them lately where they put a little bit of markings on them to make them look like little egg cactuses. And you see that, how cute, with a little tissue paper on the top to look like those little flowers that are on the top of cactuses, love that. And I've also done this as well, which is where you take the egg and you drill a hole on either side, thread some wire through it, and then you can go ahead and make that as part of, for example, a wreath. Maybe you just wanna do all Robin's eggs, or maybe for the season, you just wanna do some all over speckled eggs as well. Speckled eggs, how fun is that? So hopefully I've given you guys some ideas today how to make that Robin's egg color, again, do it to your own liking. Also, how to create speckles real easy. Perhaps you could come up with some really cool spring-like Robin's Egg inspired projects. I'd love it if you join us over on Facebook in our group called Junk Monkey Paint Projects. It's a free sharing group and there's a lot of us. If you haven't already done so, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for daily inspiration. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to know, have you guys ever seen Robin's Eggs for real? Have you ever come upon a nest? of baby robin's eggs oh my gosh aren't they just adorable they are the most perfect thing ever mother nature is ultimately the very best artist all right guys i am off i'm gonna finish these eggs and i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye